Justin Oriana, 28, was found lying on his bed in a plywood shack on Edwin Park Street in Lordsbank Village sometime around 7 o'clock on Sunday morning by relatives. He was partially covered with a blanket, and he reportedly held a machete in his right hand. He had been shot in his left hand and chest. The inspection of the body revealed that he had several apparent gunshot wounds to the body, and also police found several expanded shells on the scene. The 28-year-old was found by relatives who quickly alerted the police. One of them, who wished to comment off camera, told us what happened. I see my granddaughter run past here, and I asked she that what for in the van, so I go and I heal my son and my grandson, and they go and the house, and my, grand, my son come back and tell me what the, they find and they didn't have the house. And we all gone out there. We call the police for them to take and love them before they come and call them again and they come. Investigations show that Oriana may have been killed earlier that morning as residents in the area reported hearing gunshots. We hear the gunshot about three after three, sometime around three to after three. So. That so, same morning? This is Sunday morning, yeah. Police also knew that sometime 2.30 to 3 in the morning, uh, the neighbors had called that shots were fired in the immediate area. But upon inspection at the moment, police did not saw nothing else until the morning that the body was found by a family member. He was last seen alive by villagers on Saturday night. I tell you the truth, from me up here I never seen. Only here I up here. Because then, um, up to the same Saturday night when young lady tell me, say I'm going by the chain, you know, up there I'm going by. Because it's Saturday night. But I don't see at all at all. But why was Orayana killed? Police say he was not known to them. However, it has been confirmed that the 28-year-old was the nephew of Bernadine Laureano, who was gunned down in her Belize City residence on March 9. Was he then a target in the possible continuation of a family feud? We are told that he had left his Belize City residence to escape the gun violence that had reached his doorstep. Then I say if he may have problems with nobody else or nothing may happen. Well, just that thing come out, he come out of the yard sick of the shooting. Our investigation has also showed us that about a month ago he had made a complaint where he was assaulted with a firearm by two individuals and police is looking into that matter which involved one of the family members of the other persons called out with a double murder. We would like to note that the deceased relatives say his surname is not Oriana. However, police say they are using the name of Justin Oriana, which appears on his social security card. Dalilaikal, Love News.